The state of the American workforce is in shambles. In fact, in between a literal pandemic causing massive unemployment, the resulting work from home slash return to work movement, massively increased productivity goals. Uh, can someone please help me? Like, I'm crying right now. I'm literally and even some job surveillance with little to no rate increases. I'd say these are the worst working conditions we've had in decades. Think I'm being dramatic? Have you seen these clips? I don't deserve anything up to so, my so record. This is a written warning. I do everything. You know? And I get this, I'm in the hospital. Um, a call out a different time because my aunt died. Hey man, why are you doing that? It's not time for breaks to be over yet. Why are you doing that, man? Huh? Why are you doing that if it's not time for breaks to be over yet? You got four minutes to get back to your... No, we got rights, man. We worked eight hours, we get 30 minutes of a break. You can't do that to be... Listen, listen. So I'm investigating concerns that have been raised about your conduct in the store. Have you ever made a joke saying, you can't say that, that's racist, about something that you knew wasn't racist? Somebody like, says, oh, the sky is blue. And then have you made a joke by saying, you can't say that, that's racist? Uh, I don't really understand. I think from here now, I think I want to talk to a lawyer. Layla Dalton was wearing her AirPods wireless earphones while on the clock and working a shift on the floor. Didn't think I was going to get written up for that after so many other people wear them for over, since the store started. So the fact that I'm getting the first write-up, that's discrimination. Over your nose, please. That's discrimination. All the way up over your nose. That's discrimination. Thank you. I'm so sorry that you feel that no, way. No, you're not sorry. I get upset. And I'm talking to a, a coworker about what if we unionized? What if we did something like that? We didn't do anything. We were just talking, but they bugged all the aisles and they overheard us. So they call me in, they call me and they say, we, we got to talk. It turns out they were trying to fire me and they did. I got fired for something that's not a fireable offense. I didn't even do it. They fired me because they overheard me talking about a union. That's called union busting, my friend. And you probably heard of something called the Great Resignation, in which nearly 20% of Americans quit their job for greener pastures, under the apparent cause that nobody wants to work anymore. But with constant calls for reform and fierce union battles with some of the world's biggest companies, the situation is really more like Americans just want a good, well-paying job with decent working conditions, and so bad they're willing to fight for it, even if it means losing it all. <laughs> Think I'm being dramatic? Have you seen these headlines? Some of them are so over the top, they're almost comical in a bad guy twirling his mustache kind of way. Like when Starbucks created anti-union flyers with fake tweets, or Amazon hiring supervisors to illegally confiscate union material. It's on TV. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you, nice to meet you. Yeah, I just, I just want you guys to know it is illegal to take down union uh, literature when it's in a break room. We are legally allowed to post it. Yeah, um, you're putting it right back. Here okay, you go. great. Awesome, for sure. I appreciate it. What were your guys' names? Tammy. I uh, told you, Mitch. Tammy, Tammy what? Tammy, nice to meet you. Cool. What, full, full, I'm Tammy. Uh, what's your full name? Tammy. Or just hiring cops to arrest people. Jason, show them your badge. He's a worker. Where are you taking him? We have this old body count. Can I work for you? Yeah. They Why are you him. taking him? For they what? Trespassing. He has a badge. He works here. He was stopping us from arresting someone. No, you guys were arresting him. You guys were arresting him. And this is without even going into their personal retaliations, which include targeted harassment, firings, and even shutting down entire stores. All because these workers simply wanted a union. Now, at this point, you might be wondering if it's even worth it to unionize. And I'd be wondering too. Only, <laughs> have you seen these clips? This is the Dollar General about my house, and it's freight everywhere on the sales floor. I live in an area within a 30 minute range of my home. There are over $30 stores. This particular location, while I was in today, only had one worker. I've literally been working here for like not even a full week and I'm already by myself. Can someone please help me? Like, I'm crying right now. I'm literally crying internally. There's not been a single person who has been able to cover my time because I'm without a store manager. I have been an, an acting store manager since November, okay? November. My store manager has been out of the building for one reason or another since November. And then she quit. But I am not getting paid as an acting store manager. Even though I'm doing triple the work, I'm not getting paid for it. This company 
is a toxic, abusive, manipulative boyfriend that entices you back with sweet words. Yeah, there's overstaffed, and then there's making your sole entry-level employee into becoming the cashier, janitor, and store manager all at once, with not even a pay raise for all the extra effort. Part of the issue is that certain stores were actually overstaffed earlier this year. Presumably going on a hiring spree in response to COVID sick employees and the Great Resignation, and this ate into their profits, leading to the pendulum violently swinging back towards the, uh, well, this. Although, personally, I feel like there's no amount of workers in the world prepared to deal with this COVID era food delivery situation. Like, that's just messed up. So you can see why young people are wanting to unionize. But until real reform happens, a uh, reform that most politicians seem wholly uninterested in kickstarting, it's really up to us, the workers, to keep organizing and believing that real change can happen. And arguably, this mindset has already started spreading, from workers at Apple stores to teachers at the Blue Man Group School, which I had no idea existed, but good for them. It's worth saying again that people really do want to work. The so-called Great Resignation was never about, say, retiring at 23 so you could sit on your butt all day. We all just want a job that we don't hate, that doesn't hate us either, and that allows us to pay our rent on time. And that is not asking for too much.